um, yeah, I consider it a very uh, sacred privilege almost, you know, to, to uh, be with someone in different states of consciousness. And there are many different states of consciousness during a psilocybin session, of, uh, ranging from uh, mild sensory changes to child, reliving childhood events and personal psychodynamics to visionary archetypal states to mystical states and um, if a person isn't well prepared there's also the possibility of panic states or moments of paranoia and confusion which fortunately are rare the way uh, we use these substances but um, I guess the art of being a therapist or a guide is to um, just be as sensitively present as possible and not to impose or interfere with the experience. Uh, so it's more, it's often more important to know when not to say something is when to say something and uh, to just uh, be there in a supportive manner as as needed and sometimes you have to be very strongly supportive and sometimes uh, it's just a touch on the shoulder or the hand that's that's needed to remind the person that way back in the world of space and time there's uh, a grounding uh, a relationship that as the drug effect wanes you will return to. Thank you.